I'm sleeping on some footage. We have an awesome, simple, really enjoyed this process upgrade for the rear brakes on the RS3. For whatever reason, Audi was like, oh, the rear brakes on the RS3? Yeah, let's let's make them look wimpy. They work probably fine. You don't need a ton of brakes in the rear. They're, the carbon ceramics and like their standard brake option for the RS3 is a massive brake setup in the front. But 034 came in with an awesome upgrade, the two-piece rotor that looks super nice. So we're gonna dive into that today. I really enjoyed this process. You can check the 034 links down below if you wanna get this for your RS3 because it is such a nice upgrade and then today we've started the last week of the karma speed giveaway so we have a turbo frs a trip to colorado all expenses paid two of them going on at once this last week 200 entries for every dollar you spend is live right now if you guys enjoy the content there's like nine of us working full time to put you in a seat potentially whether it be the trip to colorado or a new car we have tons planned for next month and the month after that and if you enjoy the content if you like everything we have going with karma speed the best way to support is karmaspeed.com really really appreciate you guys time Hope you enjoy this video. Let's get after it. Today we're working with a rather heavy package. We have the 034 Motorsport rear brake rotor upgrade. We have a bracket we got installed. We have the new rotors that look nicer. Obviously new bracket because they're bigger. So today's gonna be a good one. We do have the Dynamic Plus package. So it does have carbon ceramic brakes on the front, which are insane. They work so well, but the rear rotors look absolutely weak when in comparison to the front. And it's just nicer to have better stopping power in a car this fast. So this is a must. When I saw it on the website, I was like, this is really, really cool. Let's Let's run it. And honestly, the rear brakes on the RS3 is the only thing that looks cheap on it. It doesn't match the rest of the car. It's kind of crazy. We have some really nice instructions. Baggy, Randall, you'd appreciate this. Oh yeah. I think this is one of the few packages I've gotten from them, but these stickers right here, these are fancy looking like silver. Really like that. One bracket, two bracket, another rotor. Do the brackets first, let's save the rotors. I don't know if this is coated or anodized, this part. Got some nice threads in here, just black piece. Nice looking, uniform black everything. All right, let's get one of these rotors open. Oh, Randall, come here. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh my. Those are massive. They're so nice and they're so big. Dude, this is baller. Holy cow. Pair of size reference. <laughs> Get a little tape measure. Almost 14 inches. Massive. Randall measured about 14 inches and they're 350 millimeters. They look kind of small on the website, but in person, holy cow. Let's uh, save opening up the other one for when we're about to install it. I don't want to scratch this part. These things are a work of art and I'm excited to see them on. Should be a fairly easy install. It said it was kind of difficult on the website, but I think we'll make it easy. The RS3 is now in the building. Let's take a close look. Look at our little wimpy OEM rear rotor. Randall's gonna hold up the new one, see what it looks like. Sheesh. Massive. This has such a weird little thing. You got this little hook. Anti-roast comments. All right, what do you got back there? What do you got for us? I got a number seven Allen's keys in a caliper bolt, a guide pin. Uh-oh, uh -oh. the man's here. The man is here. Hey, yo. Good morning, Get, sunshine. Getting her done? Yeah, we're getting after You need to come check out these rotors over there. <laughs> Sexy. Aren't those crazy? Give them a whistle. There yeah. you go. Randall's favorite thing is roasting people for sleeping in. <laughs> I'm just mad because I can't do it. In case anyone is wondering, Sedi and I are both team sleep in, and Randall is team wake up at 5.30 a.m. Coffee, morning tape. <laughs> yeah. In the Crocs. In the croc. Throw the Crocs on, get the socks on. Pull that out. We got quite a bit left on those. Yeah, not too bad. Nice. On to the bracket part. 
Yeah. Wait, how does that rotor come off? You can bolt it from here once the caliper bracket is off, uh, it'll come off. Why aren't you doing it out on the lift? You feel the temperature out in here? It's been worse. Randall's sweating in his air conditioning in here, so... <laughs> Summer starts in uh, February for Randall. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Just snowing outside, tank top. Is it coming? <clears throat> She's coming. So for the caliper bracket bolts, it is a triple square M14. What do you do if you don't have a triple square? Pound a Torx bit in there. No, you go to the, the Amazon best. link in the description and buy yourself some triple squares. Take a Doug Ducey this morning, and there was a scorpion in the bathroom. He's in the toilet. A scorpion? Yeah, he's in the just toilet. Women, I was like, You're what? Lying. There's I a literally... scorpion in the toilet. Did you, did you take a Snapchat of it? I was it? gonna, and I, I just assumed you like threw it in there, like half asleep or something. No, <laughs> it crawled in there. I've been having scorpion problems lately. Yeah, it was, well, it was dead. He's just floating there. That's insane. You're just gonna crawl up while you take a dump. So it's probably like on the ceiling and. <laughs> Hit a perfect shot into the... It said, high dive! <laughs> Little T30. Make sure you pull this out. Randall's getting ahead of himself. Check your BFH and get on a couple wax. Ah! Hey, I was going to put that back in stock. Oh, well. You might be a little bit uneven. <laughs> Do a little comparison here. Woo! A little difference there. Some symbols. Bing! Bing! <laughs> Now we're talking. Oof, these are looking nice. Ooh. Oh, don't let the health inspector see that. Meanwhile, Austin's probably pounding C4. Yeah. I don't know how you try to drink this stuff every day. <laughs> Four energy drinks deep. All right, so the subject we're talking about is how 034, we're talking to you. Randall, do you agree that this is not accurate to their rating of difficulty? I would disagree, but like I said, I don't know what that rating is based off of. I can't hate, but basically just a typical brake job. At least for me, brake jobs was like one of the first things that I learned to do. Karma Speed Garage, one out of five difficulty, one being easy, five being difficult. Probably like a two. Boom. Feel good about it? Yep, er everything's tight? four link down below that was an awesome upgrade today for the rs3 it pulled the look all together to keep it really high end looking from the front to the back the brakes like the, the brakes were like one of the last pieces that I really wanted to pull this car together with and thanks to 034 they made it easy i have the links in the description and don't forget 200 entries for every dollar you spend on carmaspeed.com it's our last week if you guys want to support our team keep these videos going that's the best way to do so i'm excited for whoever gets the turbo frs and the trip to colorado later this year it's gonna be a blast can't wait to see you guys on carmaspeed.com if you're interested this video right here, we put some new wheels and tires on the RS3. You can check it out here.